Hello Virgo, there's a great deal of self-awareness and drive this month as shown by this large combination of planets in the sign of Virgo. It's September 2019 and uh, I'm Dedici from astrology.com.au. Welcome to those of you that are new. Let's animate this so we can see exactly what's happening, especially on the tail of the uh, new moon late last month in August. You see here the power of Mars and Venus, which are accentuating the horoscope for you. But we also notice that your ruling planet Mercury in close proximity to Mars makes you rather combative, argumentative, and that should be checked, especially in the first um, few days of the month. You'll see there as soon as it passes the conjunction of Mars, which is probably your most difficult planet, uh, things should start to move back on track. The moon, of course, moves far more quickly and will make contact with Jupiter here in your fourth house, uh, which has to do with your domestic affairs sometime around the 6th, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, there we go there. That's a strong conjunction. Lots of good feelings, maybe some sort of event on the home front, or at least a better rapport with your mother and the females within your family. Just there towards the 7th, though, you've got that square aspect that can unsettle things. A mixture of aspects here, especially to this fifth house. The moon and Saturn together here in this fifth house can give, I guess, a rather heavy mind. Fifth house has to do with uh, your creative self. And if Saturn is there, as it has been for a long while, and also retrograde, which strengthens and empowers that planet, then you might be feeling a little blocked, which is hence why you may be feeling this rather reactive approach to uh, yourself and your more personal relationships. Keep your eye on these two planets, your ruler, Mercury and Venus. They will move into the second house uh, a little later. And, and so there will be a little bit of relief here. Moon in the sixth, around the 11th and 12th, has to do with work matters, looking after your health. Of course, that's going to be best looked after by not acting crazily uh, with this large number of planets prompting you to do and say things that you ordinarily wouldn't. The idealistic Moon-Neptune conjunction in your seventh house of marriage and relationships is lovely, but you need to keep it real as your emotions during this full Moon phase here, notice this, the Moon opposite Sun, may be overtaking your sensibilities. We mentioned Mercury, your ruler, and Venus moving out of the self-aware self sector the first house to the finance sector around the 15th that'll be followed up by the sun around the 22nd where all this focus from oneself will move to the way you are earning money your value system and possibly splitting your attention a little too much so what i'd be saying to you is that the key especially in the second half of the month Virgo is to keep focused on one thing. <coughs> if there are ancillary activities, you need to give some prioritization to what it is that you are, are doing. I'm getting a little hot in here. I'm going to just put that air on. Just bear with me. I need to remain cool. Um, and the 10th house moon here in Gemini after the 20th <coughs> brings your attention to financial matters career and so that supports this second house activity of Venus and Mercury actually this is what we call a Raja Yoga Venus is one of your better planets ruling the ninth house and the second Mercury rules your ascendant or sun sign rather and so when these two planets combine it's very very lucky so you should at least some of you anyhow might start to see especially after the 23rd when moon is in the 11th house here a an increase in your finances that's supported also to some extent by the Sun here in the second house but with a qualification there the Sun rules your 12th house of expenses so you may be spending it as quickly as you earn it important to keep a watchful eye on what it is you desire desires are shown by this planet and also Venus to a large extent the desire to earn more 
may also be overpowered by your desire to be luxurious, to get the next iPhone sooner than anyone else. <coughs> Pardon me. That impulse is also shown by the conjunction of the Moon and Mars here after the 28th. There's a new moon on the 29th, as we can see here, and that's just at the very last part of the month of September. And you'll notice again that it is occurring there in the area of finance. So I guess most astrologers simplify this whole idea of the second house being income rather than it having uh, more to do with what it is you value and how you're going to create greater value to establish and identify in your life those aspects which are most valuable. Currency uh, is not just money. In fact, I'm sure some of you will agree that uh, even if you've got money, sometimes you don't have the time to enjoy it. So therefore, there are other forms of currency which I, I coin elegant currency. Time, for me, is the most important currency. And you can see here the square aspect to Saturn in the fifth house being time itself as being the challenger here. So no matter how much money you earn, how much you fulfill your desires, if you don't have the time to enjoy that, uh, that's going to fall short of the mark of your ideal. So it's important to work on that, especially in this new moon, which is the start of a new chapter in your life now, uh, to give you an all-round satisfaction in what you're doing. Check out astrology.com.au. We've got more on the month of September for you, Virgo. And uh, we also have the year mapped out, what's left of it. And uh, my invitation to any of you who would like to have a more personal reading with me, then I can just go a little slower, percolate the information based upon your time of birth, your date, your place of birth, which is much, much more personalized. I hope you'll avail yourself of that. But till next month, take care. And thanks again for joining me. Bye bye.